This is my Beretta 92G. And this, my CZ75BD. They're basically the same gun. Let's do a comparison, this time on gun physics. My Beretta 92 is old and used, made around the year 2000, and it is the G version, so it's the decocker only. So when you drop that slide, you see the hammer, but the safety releases and doesn't stay down in that position. Put a new 13 pound recoil spring in there, new hammer, and uh, feels really good, really like the trigger. This one, made in 2002, is the CZ75BD, the decocker only version, so it's a left side only. So you decock it, springs back up, no safety, same thing. This one drops to the half cock position. Very, very, very similar gun. This one made in 2002, this one in 2000, both of them. 15 round magazines, both of them with pretty much five inch barrels. Gave them both to my wife, and she thinks a bread is heavier, but it's definitely not. It just fills up your hand so much it feels heavy. So, let's do some shooting. It looks like a tiny little ejection port, functions fine, and that magazine does not drop free. The open top slide design makes ejection really easy, the mag drops free. Here's a target from the CZ75B. That thing is tight. Maximum spread of about two and a half inches. And uh, if you eliminate a couple of the outliers, that's uh, about 1.6 inches. That's pretty good. Barely any trigger time behind this one. Now I've had the Beretta 92 for a while. About uh, nine months now. And I still can't shoot it that well. Ugh, it's too bad. But uh, I got a couple of flyers above and down below. It's not bad. I mean, the main group is about the same size, but I have more flyers on this one. It is a lightened trigger and a skeletonized hammer. Now the CZ75 and the Beretta 92G both cost me about the same amount. This one was before Trump won the election, and this one was after Trump won the election. This one has old tritium sights on it, one 15-round magazine. This one no tritium, but whatever. And this, perfect. Excellent, excellent condition. This one's all beat up. Ambidextrous controls on the Beretta 92, but if it's a decocker only, it doesn't really matter. The slide on the CZ rides inside the frame, so it can be nice and narrow. Frame width is similar, but that Beretta has a massively wide slide. They're about the same length, but the finish on the CZ is a whole lot nicer. The grips are similar in size, but the shape is completely different. The Beretta 92 is a big block, and the CZ75, man, that thing feels really good in the hand. They're great guns, pretty much exactly the same thing. Whichever one, enjoy them. And there you go, that's my big fat Beretta 92G versus my skinny, svelte CZ75BD. Hey, thanks for watching Gun Physics. Your thumbs up really helps a lot in the ratings, so thanks for that too. And I've got new videos coming out most Tuesdays. Subscribe for more.